As society both grows in terms of population, but also as a larger percent comes online and becomes more affluent, we're gonna have this incredible explosion of devices and information. And in fact, it is that explosion of devices and information which is enabling more and more society to become middle class. My kids are gonna be in a planet where there's gonna be nine billion people, maybe more. And if we continue to use resources like we have, there's no question that the future is unsustainable. So we have to reinvent the way we live, and I feel honored to be able to be in a job where I can have some influence on that. At Microsoft, when we think about environmental sustainability, we're thinking about a number of areas. Certainly we're thinking about IT and the role of our own sector. We're also thinking about buildings. How do we use information technology to reduce the 40% of energy worldwide that buildings use by as much as 20 to 30%? In transportation, if we can use the power of information in the vehicle and information about the cloud and traffic, we actually have shown in many places around the world we can reduce the traffic, improve efficiency in transportation by leveraging cloud computing in new and unique ways. In the utilities market, we're witnessing a massive transformation from centralized power to far more distributed power, and those two things have to act together. And that's a massive amount of information, often millions of points of data. IT has to be at the heart of that, and the list goes on, but there's just tremendous opportunities to leverage information technology to both improve life and reduce the amount of resources we use. On our Microsoft campus, we're testing all sorts of ways to apply information technologies to what is effectively a small city with over 15 million square feet and tens of thousands of employees. Whether that's rethinking transportation systems, redoing the way information technology is managing our buildings, thinking about our food supply and locally sourcing and disposing of products and waste, thinking about a whole range of things that a city has to deal with and looking at how information technology and cloud computing can be applied to these problems. We have to reinvent the way we think about resource use because today there's no question that we will not continue to prosper as a society if we don't become far more efficient with everything.